just delivered in your favor today at the tribunal? Well, uh, first I want to acknowledge and appreciate the judiciary. Uh, the judiciary is the last hope of the common man, and which is what they have proved again today, that we still have hope in this country. We have hope in the judiciary. And uh, listening to the judgment, I, I want to say it's one of the very best judgments that uh, can ever be given in none of our political uh, matters uh, so far. So I want to appreciate the tribunal, judges, and all those who worked, including everybody who have contributed one way or the other towards this very sound judgment. Again, uh, I'd like to use the opportunity to talk to my people, the people of Bielsa State, who graciously, freely gave me this mandate. So it is actually not my victory. It is the victory of the people of Bielsa State. And so, as I always pledge, our administration is people-focused and people-oriented. So this will again give us uh, a better uh, latitude to continue to deliver the dividends of democracy to our people. Uh, you know that matters like these are distractions, particularly against the backdrop that you had an election that was adjudged to be one of the freest and the fairest, and yet you have been distracted over this uh, period. Uh, I want to let my people know that we are still for you, we will continue to work for you, work with you until the final day of our administration. And so I want to appreciate the good people of Bielsa State, people who stood by the truth, people who stood for democracy. Thank you and God will continue to bless our state. God will bless Nigeria. Let me, okay. The let last me I take want, you. I do have any call for the opponents. And what are the opponents? Well, before I go to call for my opponents, you know, I had uh, a crack legal team. A crack legal team. Uh, those who can behead and those who can make people to faint. They beheaded some, some fake witnesses and made some fake witnesses to faint. So I want to also appreciate my very strong, virile legal team. Particularly the leaders, uh, Barista Uche, SAN, who is here with me, and uh, Oyetibo, who is unavoidably absent, and all the other SANs and members of the legal team. They have done a very good work. Their commitment, their passion, and their everything. They threw in everything that they had to make this day a success. So I appreciate all of you. And uh, we're always open to work with anybody. However, however, people must change in their ways. The days of rigging elections are over. The days where you threaten your own people, chase your own people out of their own land, where you now intimidate them and go and write votes. Those days are over. And so if they change from those ways, yes, I will work with them. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, we are very happy that the victory of our client, His Excellency Governor Doe Diri of Bayesa, has been vindicated today by the judgment of the tribunal. And as you could see from the judgment itself, the case of our opponents was built on a very weak foundation. And if you listen to the judgment, you see that their case, the evidence, was deficient both in quality and in quantity. And as the court said, the allegations were not proved. And even their case, the witnesses they called gave inconsistent evidence that were 
a, a, a discrepant. So all together, it was it was it was a very good victory, and we are uh, very happy that our client's mandate has today been vindicated. So now we hope he will uh, have ample time to concentrate on delivering the dividends of democracy to the good people of Bayesa who gave him the mandate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's um, it's manifest on the face of it that it was a painstaking uh, decision that judges, the lordship took their time, and then in all this, I'm always happy when the work of Enek vilified as the, that decision is is justified. You know, this is another. A case where it has been found that the, the institution did its job correctly according to the electoral law, according to the constitution, you know, and the vigilance it exercised in this uh, in this election showed that you cannot pull the wool over Annex face, you know. Annex will continue to do his work, and um, so I congratulate all that have won. I also congratulate uh, the chairman of Annex for being consistent in his good works. Sumina Jumbo representing with my colleagues, the People's Democratic Party, the platform that sponsored the second and the third respondents in the election held for the governorship last year, November. For as a party, we are, um, on behalf of our clients, we are very grateful. The decision of the court was very, very explicit, detailed, and really, really analytical. I must commend my lords for the painstaking efforts made in delivering the industry which was put into delivering this judgment. I think, but first, it is important to note that the court held that the petition had already been abandoned, having not activated three hearing session within the provisions of paragraph 18 of the first schedule of the Electoral Act. But in compliance with the constitutional mandates, the, the tribunals went ahead and entertained the complaints and found that, that all the complaints made by the petitioners, the three complaints made by the pet petitioners were unproven and affirmed the victory of the candidates sponsored by the People's Democratic Party. Thank you. Somina John Bull. Somina John Bull. Yes. Thank you very much. Hi. Now he's Let me just speak to him. He's on behalf of the deputy governor. All right. So I would not get the videos from me. I can't get Kabir. So basically, um, your judgment of your testimony was one of the deciding factors in the judgment. So how do you want to react to the judgment that's delivered? Yes, my reaction is that this judgment is justice for democracy. This judgment is an amplification of the democratic decisions of the people of Bielsa State. Kudos to the judiciary and especially the honorable justices. Thank you. Thank you. Your name. My name is Comrade Goon Torioye, and a witness for Senator Lawrence Rijakbo, the Deputy Governor of Bayes State. 